In this problem, we will find a nice way to calculate the moment of inertia of a body by measuring the time periods of SHM. So they are just given a physical pendulum, so let's assume that's a rod, it doesn't matter, it can be anything. And let's say the center of mass of this physical pendulum is at a distance LCM. Now what's given is, when a small body is attached at a distance L below the axis, the oscillation frequency becomes omega 2. So initially the frequency was omega 1 and when this body is attached at a distance L, the frequency becomes omega 2. So let's use this data to find the moment of inertia of the body. So let's say that is I. So in both the cases, let's twist it by an angle theta and see what is the torque about point O. So we get the information on the torsion coefficient C1 and C2 and that we can relate to find omega 1 and omega 2. So let's do that. So initially here, the moment of inertia is I, here it is I plus ml square. It's twisted by an angle theta, so torque about O is mg sin theta, because this angle will also be theta, into LCM. And here it will be mg LCM theta, that will be the same, plus mg sin theta into L. mg L into theta. So this is C1, this is C2. So C2 is simply C1 plus mg L. Now omega 1 is equal to root c1 by i, this i, and omega 2 is c2 by i2. So for this case, i2 is i plus ml square. So we have these two equations and our variables are c1 and i. Two equations, two variables, we find the value of i that comes with this. Alright.